Gabriel Ryder, PureSwingTV.com, PGTourDriven.com. I have a special video for you guys today. I've actually discovered something that humankind has not. I have found out that humans actually have thermostats inside their brain, inside that noggin of yours. And I'm gonna explain and elaborate more when I get to the course. All right, so you have to think it by now, Gabe, you're a crazy lunatic or a crazy smart genius who has discovered something no one else has. And I would say the second one, especially if you wanna be smart like me. Um, no, for real, I actually do believe we have thermostats in our subconscious mind. Thermostats that gauge on how well we should score or how low we should shoot. Um, let's say I got my, uh, okay, let's say I have my thermostat in my house. And let's say I set it for 68 degrees. And let's say, you know, nighttime's coming around and the temperature drops to 63, 62. So all of a sudden the heaters start coming on. They go, hey, it's too cold in here. We got to crank up the heat. And to relate that to our golf game, it's like we start playing golf and let's say we don't play as good as we normally do. You know, we go, hey, this is not up to my standards. I'm better than this. And we start focusing and hitting better shots, you know, because we, we are not playing up to our normal ability. But what most people don't understand is that it happens on the other side. Well, what do I mean? For instance, I play with my buddy. He usually shoots high 90s, low 100s. And we were playing, you know, regulation, you know, 6,600 yard golf course. And he started off bogey, par, 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 par. He made like four pars in a row. And obviously, obviously, if you shoot in the hundreds, I mean, that's amazing. And you know, I'm like, great job, keep it up. And he was like, uh, don't worry, my game, will, my game will kick in any second, you'll see. And I go, what do you mean? He goes, because I normally don't play this good. You'll see, I'll start spraying him any minute now. And it was surprised me that he said that, um, I, I, since me being such a positive person. But the more people I started playing with, the different abilities, I was surprised on how often that happened, where people would sabotage their own success because they weren't used to playing that well. I even seen that happen to scratch handicappers who shoot maybe one, two under par, one, two over, and maybe the lowest rounds five under. I was playing with my buddy and he was like seven or eight under after nine or 10 holes. And when you're playing that well and you're hitting that good of shots and that good of putts, you know, I believe it started creeping into his mind. He could shoot, you know, 61, 60, even 59. And actually what's the funny thing is he started backing off and playing less aggressive and playing more safe and he started making more pars. And I asked him about this afterwards, but he actually thought in his mind he would be a choker, that it would be a choke that if you're eight under after 10 holes and you don't shoot 59, you know, that's a choke. So he stopped being, you know, he went less aggressive so he could make pars so he couldn't feel like he choked, you know. So the mind plays funny games and our, and our thermostat I think gauges on how well we think we really are. And how do we change that? You know, how do we combat that is, you know, I would say with our words and with our body, you know, if you're, if you're playing lower than you normally are and you start getting a little comfortable, start telling yourself, hey, this is how I normally play. You know, this is how I always shoot. And we start convincing our mind that that's how we normally play and we become more comfortable. Because if we think that's how we normally play, hey, we're not gonna get nervous, we're not gonna get uncomfortable or tense. So I would say just tell yourself, that's how you normally play, that's how you normally shoot, and you know, stand tall, you know, deep breaths, and be do the best to be confident. Now that's what I do, you know, if I start shooting low, I go, hey, so I play, be confident, deep breaths. Remember, motion causes emotion. The way you hold, you hold your body is the way you're gonna feel. You know, if you're, if you're feeling uncomfortable, you know, you're a little slouch, your breathing's a little shallow, you know, you know, hold it up tall, breathe deep, be confident. And once you start convincing your mind that's how you play, you'll see your scores start to drop gradually. And that's what I do. That's just something I, I learned, I've been thinking about. Let me know if you've done that or if you've played with a buddy who's played really well, but he started to expect to hit bad shots because that's what he normally does. Like I said, I was playing with my buddy and he, he was playing way well, but he was expecting to hit bad shots because that's what he normally does. And he wasn't trying to convince himself to play the best round of his life. So anyways, give that a try. Let me know in the comment section below if, if that's happened to you or you've seen that happen. And, you know, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Gabriel Ryder, PJ Door Driven, signing out.